joy at last. For decades, access to clean tap water was a mere pipe dream for most parts of Botswana's capital, Haberon, and its surrounding villages, home to over 600,000 residents. Today, the just-commissioned 100-kilometer Masama Mamasha water pipeline has handed a lifeline to heavily distressed southern part of Botswana. Botswana's president, Mokwesi Masisi, officially commissioned the water project at the Water Utilities Corporation Treatment Plant in Mamasha, which is 15 kilometers outside Haberon. Twelve months ago, the works to construct this pipeline began. And I'm happy that within time, within budget, and at the right quality, the project was completed, starting its defects notification period for another 12 months until 7 September 2022, where the contractor is liable for any defects that might arise during the period. The completion of this pipeline is a milestone in my government's efforts to reduce water shortage across the country and bring this country towards the realization of sustainable development goal number six, which calls for all nations to, and I quote, ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. I wish to commend Kato Civils South Zambezi Evolution Joint Venture for doing a sterling job. While the president will largely see this as a fulfillment of his water promise, this is beyond a political promise, but an eased up burden to the residents who are used to going days without water due to the unavailable. The people in Haberon and southern part of the country longed for this day. The 100-kilometer pipeline connects Masama and Mamasha, two communities located near to Botswana's capital, Haberon. In Masama, the pipeline carries water pumped from the east and west aquifers to supply the population. Since the completion of the project in August 2021, a total of 64 million liters of water flows through the new pipeline every day. The Water Utilities Corporation, WC, which initiated the project, awarded the contract to Kato Sivos. According to President Masisi, a project of this magnitude is usually done in two years, but Kato Sivos managed to complete it under a year. Masisi said the pipeline did not only provide the labage of water supply, but also enhance the socio-economic status of the people living along the pipeline corridor. The pipeline which was awarded to the contractor at an amount of 781,555,356 pula 89 tebe did not only improve reliability of portable water supply, but it also enhanced the socio-economic status of the people living along the pipeline corridor. I am informed that more than 700 Botswana both skilled and unskilled were employed during the construction of this project. Jobs. Contractor Kato Sivos says works involved designing the pipeline and actual construction. Construction involved trenching and blasting through kilometers of hard rock in order to lay the pipes. Kato Sivos executive chairman, Mr. Simbi Piri, said that the commission on the pipeline that the successful completion of the project was testimony that African firms have what it takes to spearhead an African infrastructure revolution that the continent greatly needs. All they need is an opportunity, he says, calling on African leaders to trust local firms. This project is basically a testimony that these things are uh, possible with us. The only thing an African wants is an opportunity. Sir, 
the president, you gave us that opportunity. We are eternally grateful and that we, you gave us the opportunity to showcase what we can do. And if many leaders in the continent could do what you have done to many black people, and I'm saying it's not about Simbi Piri or Kato, it's just to show that when an African is given an opportunity, we can deliver. We can do. There will be such uh, uh, projects that some, there can be a mistake here and there, but really uh, the ability to excel to the levels of uh, any other uh, level of uh, uh, excellence we are able to. And it's just the opportunity that an African uh, requires. And we are grateful that you gave us that opportunity. We have done our social uh, corporate responsibilities. It's very important that when, where you work, like the chief said here, where you work, you work with people, you have to provide uh, some level of uh, appreciation, give something that people would remember that uh, there was a project done by such such a company. It's not a bribe, like some of the members of the media had said when we built a block of school at Madinari, uh, when we did the pump stations there, we put up a block. We built a house here at, um, at uh, Atisha for an indigent family. Today, this is no longer an indigent family. They have a home, a beautiful one at that. And uh, this is just what altruism is about. You don't just come and take and go. As we speak, Your Excellency, water is arriving from Masama. We are drinking it in Habaroni. I'm very elated, delighted uh, that we have done this one. And it shows that Botswana can do this thing. It is not uh, a requirement of uh, engineering that one is Chinese or, or is European or Arab. No, once you learn, you have the knowledge and skill, this thing can be done. Where the skills are short, you outsource. The Water Utility Corporation of Botswana reports that the water pumped from Masama will undergo light treatment at the Mamasha treatment plant with a capacity of 92,000 millimeters per day. This plant was built in the early 2000s, brought and treated raw water from Letsibo Dam, a dam further up in the north of the country. The corporation says since then, the plant has been treating water from the Haberon Dam and water imported from South Africa. This situation has drastically changed with the commissioning of the new 100-kilometer pipeline. Looking ahead, Executive Chairman Mr. Piri envisions African infrastructure revolution pioneered and organized by African firms. He says Kato Civils is now venturing aggressively into the continent and has bid for various backwater and road construction projects in countries such as Malawi, Zimbabwe, Sudan, Ghana, Zambia, Tanzania and Kenya. Kato Civils has recently completed large projects in South Africa such as the M1 Double Decker Bridge Rehabilitation and upgrade in Johannesburg a new back electrical supply infrastructure in Sadana Bay and the construction of outfall sewer pipelines in Porokwane. Elsewhere in Malawi, construction of a 120-kilometer pipeline to move water from down Lake Malawi up a one-kilometer slope in Tulilongwe starts in earnest. The government of Malawi awarded the contract to Kato Civils after a rigorous bidding process in which several local and international bidders participated. The company aims to establish presence and working for the two countries in Africa. We definitely are spreading in the continent uh, in a big way. As we, you know, uh, we are eyeing uh, infrastructure in Juba. They don't have water treatment plants. We think we will design and build them ourselves with the partnership of some Sudanese companies there. We have to. There's just no way all city today should be without treatment plants. So we're going to do that and build the uh, park pipelines uh, in Juba. That one is on the, on the cards. We are in Malawi, we are in the Congo, 
We should be in the Congo very shortly. We're also going to do a lot of treatment plants and pipelines as well in the, in the Congo very shortly. So it's about a question of finances uh, that we are looking at. We're signing up agreements with other uh, foreign companies uh, to, to enhance uh, capabilities and ingenuity in engineering. So look forward to quite a lot of these things that we are going to. That's why we are putting up the headquarters in Botswana because uh, the, the, the liberalization of uh, exchange is easy to pay from Botswana. So if money comes from uh, the Congo into Haboroni, it's easy for me to pay companies in South Africa than it is. It would be if I were uh, in another jurisdiction where their foreign exchange regime is not well developed. So it's very attractive for me to be headquartered for the continent in, South, in, in, in Botswana for operations. So it's easy to pay for materials in Dubai for them to arrive in Juba. It's easy for me to pay things that may be like, you know, DRC is the, is a, they speak French and they are more aligned to French things. So if you buy things from either Belgium or France, uh, it's easier to pay from Haboroni than it would be probably to pay from the Congo itself. So there are a number of things that you consider. Yeah, so that's why people might say, why are you building such a big headquarters in there? No, there will be big operations here. And we're not only going to look for jobs in Botswana, no, we're working in the continent from here. When we take these foreign companies to come and do everything, at what are we doing? We are draining foreign exchange uh, resources for our country. Majerimus, mume mbitsa kusanza ndugu tsegula mimba, mume bisala ndugu swana maloso nega ndi maso, mume dwalisa ndunduwa Malawi, kubere ga matenda kwa chichebele. Koma tsoba anose waniichi, ndine domestos, ndipo ndabwera, ndithana nanu, ndithetezana skulu Malawi munu, pozi wisa zoenela kusata pa ukondo wa kwechimbuzi, ndipo ndi ndi mangolo mera operado manjere monsanto ndu na uruonse, ndine domestos, ndipo sindi kwenje tsedwa. If there's one thing that all soaps do, it's wash. From buckets to basins, bathrooms to streams, and everything in between. <laughs> all soaps wash. Yes, but Protex is different. Its reinvented formula with flaxseed oil boosts your skin's natural anti-germ defenses by 10 times more, protecting you against 99.9% .9 of germs. So what keeps us healthy? Protex! Good health starts here. Pukondwelea tsikula ana kubala chaka chino cha 2021 Aeno Beauty Private Limited Akupatsulani Mother's Day Promotion Kutimukwanitsu kupenza ploti Motsika mtengo Kuyambila pa 1 Oktober Mpaka 10 November 2021 Muta kupenza ploti pa mtengo Otsika Kushukila ku Aeno Beauty Private Limited Mother's Day Promotion Mitengema ploti kushukila ku Aeno Beauty Private Limited Ili motere Lilo 